Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duckbricks. I'm Chris and welcome to another Top 10 Lego video. And for this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 rarest Lego dinosaurs that they have ever made. Now, I just was able to recently acquire one of the rarest dinos ever. I actually recently put out a video on that, which you can check out linked in the description below in this box right here. But of course, besides this, there were so many other Lego dinosaurs from the different raptors to the larger dinosaurs like the Triceratops here, and even some of the early attempts at the T-Rex that started in the Lego Adventures line and some winged dinosaurs dinosaurs like the Pteranodons and Pterodactyls here, Lego dinosaurs have been going on for a very long time. Thanks to the Jurassic World lineup, which is the most recent Lego dinosaurs iteration, but of course due to a lot of other Lego dinosaur themes, such as Dino Attack and Dino 2010, which came out around 2006. We also had the Lego Dino theme, which was fairly recent around the 2012 era, and we even had older dinosaurs themes, which were basically Bionicle-like canister builds of dinosaurs that we could get in each individual packages and of course the theme that started dinosaurs Lego Adventures, which was the Dino Island sub-theme, which really brought us some of the first Lego dinos. Now, over the years, there have been so many, and it was really hard narrowing these down to the top 10 rarest, because as you can see, these are just all the T-Rexes right here, and there are so, so many. But of course, the way that I narrowed this list down is basically by going through a number of factors. The main factor that was considered was the average value on BrickLink. BrickLink is the used LEGO reselling platform, and what I did is took the average between buying a dinosaur used or new, which means either it has been used and played with, or is new in some of the sealed bags that came in, or maybe just new and never touched or played with, and I took the average of those two values to figure out what the average value of each dinosaur was. BrickSet and BrickLink have for provided these average values for me, so you can check them out in the link below. But of course, the market does fluctuate a lot. Dinosaurs will shoot up in value or decrease in value. And one of the biggest factors to consider here is that the current Jurassic World Dominion sets are still currently available on shelves. Some of the recent sets which just came out introduced a lot of really special dinos, and you can still buy them from shop.lego.com today. So if I had to predict, in a couple of years, this video is going to have to be remade, because once the new Jurassic World sets get discontinued, those dinos are probably going to shoot up in price. So this is really just kind of a snip in time where right now, some of the most modern dinosaurs are still available for release. We know from LEGO that they intend to make Jurassic World a bit of an evergreen theme, so even though there aren't going to be any more movies, LEGO will still release Jurassic World sets for the foreseeable future. So regardless of the point in time this video comes out, one part of it will probably be outdated at some point. But this is just summarizing what the value is right now for the top 10 rarest Lego dinosaurs. And I can assure you the number one spot is probably not going to change for a long time. But without further ado, let's just jump right into number 10. All right, so coming in at number 10, we have one of the dinosaurs that started it all, at least for this particular style of dinosaur. This is the very first T-Rex that we ever got of this style, all the way back in 2012 as part of the set 5886 T-Rex Hunter, which depicted this T-Rex alongside a large yellow helicopter in the LEGO Dino 2012 theme. Now, this was our introduction to the modern style of dinosaurs, which are now basically used in the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchises, but before LEGO actually was using licensed sets to make those, we were getting actual just standard dinosaur sets in 2012, which introduced this entire system. Now, this particular model sells for approximately 30 US dollars on BrickLink. Again, I am going off of the average used price listings in the past six months. So the market is actually tending to quite fluctuate a lot in terms of the final listing here. There were a lot of dinosaurs that barely made the cut because they were like $29 and a few cents, but this one being $30 and I believe something like 50 cents allowed it to make the cut as number 10 on this list. And for the one that started it all, it definitely makes sense to have it on here, but of course there are a lot more to get to because this is just one of the many different T-Rexes that are going to be on this list. 
In terms of the design of the build itself, I know they're fairly controversial because I know a lot of folks do prefer it when LEGO does brick-built animals versus actual molded stuff, and sometimes people feel oppositely. But I think this is the perfect way to depict dinosaurs in a LEGO theme. If you want a larger display model, they do have brick-built dinosaurs, but for a play theme, this made a lot of sense, and I'm really glad that they're still sticking with this general design and aesthetic for T-Rexes today. With that though, let's now move on to number 9. And coming in at number 9, we have the other T-Rex from that exact Dino 2012 wave. This was the kind of olive green color of the T-Rex as opposed to the dark orange one. And this one is literally only a dollar more than the previous one. Coming in at $31.67, this barely edges out our number 10 slot on the list. And don't worry, as we get higher in the list, the price discrepancy will be a lot more interesting than this. This came in set number 5887. Dino Defense Headquarters. It was also part of the initial 2012 release of the Dino theme, so I guess this, along with the first one, were the first two dinosaurs, and it's basically what you see is what you get. This is just a recolor of that other T-Rex, and do expect to see a lot of different T-Rexes on this list because they are probably arguably the most popular dinosaur, which means they are the most expensive because they also are some of the largest dinosaurs as well. Overall, this was a cool creature to get, especially back in the day. Getting two different colors of the same exact animal was a really fun thing to see, but I think we can now move on to something a little bit more interesting. Continuing along for number 8, we have yet another model from the Dino 2012 theme. This is the Triceratops. It retails for around $32.72 and only came in one set, the Triceratops Trapper in 2012, set number 5885. Now this used to be a much rarer dinosaur. However, the thing is, LEGO recently re-released the Triceratops in a different color for the Jurassic World sets just a couple of years ago, so the price has definitely gone down a lot. That newer Triceratops isn't even on this list because it doesn't even make it past the $30 mark, so this used to be one of the rarest dinosaurs up until LEGO brought the molds back, which I think was the right choice. I'm really glad LEGO did not keep this exclusive to a set from 2012, and they allowed us a chance to, well, have the market price go down and allow for people to get the Triceratops if they wanted. Now in terms of posability for this creature, it is just super simple. You can kind of move the head side to side and up and down on the ratchet joint here. You can also move each individual leg back and forth on the ratchet joints themselves. So it is a nicely printed dinosaur. And I think despite a lot of the dinosaurs from the 2012 line being fairly cartoony, this one is actually really good in terms of a having a very realistic color scheme. You have this kind of brown and dark tan look to it, which I think is really cool. Now. I believe we are getting a new Triceratops this year as well for the Jurassic Park sets. We haven't seen pictures of them yet, but there probably is one coming. So this price may go down even more once we actually get the realistic kind of brown colored Triceratops from the original Jurassic Park movie. But as of right now, this is our number eight spot on the list. Coming in at number 7, we have one of the most recent dinosaurs on this list. Jumping forwards 10 years, this released just last year in 2022, and this is the Giganotosaurus from set number 76949, Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus Attack, which was themed around the latest Jurassic World Dominion movie. Now this is probably going to skyrocket in value once the set is actually taken off shelves. You can still get this set today, at least as the time of this video is releasing, so I'm sure that once that is discontinued this will probably become much much rarer because despite the fact that it is built off of the standard T-Rex frame, pretty much all of the molds in this model are almost 100% unique. You have specifically a new piece created for the very iconic spine of the creature itself. This is a brand new body part. You have the spikes continuing on the tail which is a part we've seen before but it is recolored for this particular dinosaur. And you even have some specialized, what appears to be painted or dual molded components for these spikes at the top of the head there, all which brings you this very interesting looking creature. The joint does ratchet on two different points, much like the other Indominus Rex creatures, although this is a brand new head with a very nice amount of detailing to the scales and ridges on the head itself. And overall, you can clearly see the amount of effort that went into creating this creature and making it so large, which definitely makes sense because this is one of basically 
basically the most deluxe creatures they've made for a particular Jurassic World movie release. The creature itself retails for around 35 US dollars used on Bricklink, which makes a lot of sense, and it does cost a lot more than that new. So definitely pay in mind that fact when you want to actually purchase the dinosaur yourself. But as of right now, we can now move on to our next pick. All right, so coming in at number six, we have another T-Rex. This one retails for 43 US dollars, making it one of the most expensive T-Rexes they have ever made. This is yet again from the Jurassic World line. It was released in 2019 and only came in one set, set number 75938, T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle, which I will have to say is probably one of my favorite Jurassic World sets yet. It wasn't focused around anything obviously that happened in the movies, but instead this originated from the Lego own kind of created original media for the Jurassic World franchise, and it's kind of cool how this was just a special color made for that one set. Now, the T-Rex itself, if I had to guess, is probably very sought after because of the very realistic color scheme. You have dark tan and a dark gray and brown stripes, which is actually pretty muted, surprisingly so compared to the fact that it was facing a very large lime green dinosaur mech. So maybe that was why they wanted to have a contrast between the two of them, but I do really like the printing and design of this particular animal itself. Sure, it is just another T-Rex, and yeah, there's gonna be a lot of T-Rexes on this list, but I definitely do feel like this one absolutely absolutely deserves one of the top spots because of how unique it is in terms of the color scheme and how we haven't really gotten a color scheme just like this one before. With that though, let's now move on to our halfway point. For our number 5 pick, we are taking it all the way back to 2001. This was one of the very first style of LEGO dinosaurs that they were putting out around the time. It is a very classic dinosaur, the Mosasaurus. Now this costs around $45 used, which puts it right at the halfway point here, and is so far our only LEGO Mosasaurus we have ever gotten. Which means that despite the somewhat rudimentary detailing and styling of this particular creature, it still remains highly in value just because LEGO hasn't done one again. But maybe we'll see one in the future, they did do a massive Tulkin whale-like creature for LEGO Avatar, so the sky's the limit nowadays. We will see if this will remain to be on the list in the future, because again, LEGO could have have one in the works, but as of right now, this is a very high price to pay for just one creature. One of the cool things about the 2001 dinosaurs is that they essentially came in canisters similar to Bionicle sets, and the main goal behind them was in order to be able to kind of use them to create other dinosaurs. So this set actually did come with a lot of other pieces where you could swap out the heads and whatnot and create other animals and other dinosaurs, but obviously the star of the show is the Mosasaurus itself. The jaw can open and shut both the top and the bottom ones separately of each other, which means you can actually have this kind of be in the semblance of swimming by kind of going up and down, which I think is a really cool detail. I love the usage of the Lego crocodile headpiece in red as the tongue there. That was a really innovative usage of that piece, and of course they did introduce these new flipper elements that are just super simple. They attach by Technic pins. They do tend to snap off pretty easily, so do be careful if you do own this one, but this was a whole new system of building dinosaurs back in 2001. Obviously, LEGO has gotten much more refined at how they make dinosaurs nowadays, but overall, for its time, this was a really charming creature. Now, we did get a recolor of this in black for the LEGO Alpha Team line. That was LEGO's original line of agents, but that one isn't quite as popular as this one, probably because it was just an all plain black, and this one definitely is a much more realistic color scheme. With that though, let's now move on to number four. Our number four pick is the Indoraptor. The average used price is $51, and he only came in one set from 2018, Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate, set number 75930. This was obviously the main quote-unquote villain of the second Jurassic World movie, making him a very sought-after creature. Despite not actually being a real-life animal, this was kind of a hybrid that was created just for the movie, this was a very memorable kind of final boss for that particular movie, which is why it is so popular in terms of a Lego dinosaur. Now, 
looking at the articulation of this creature, it's really cool because it actually reuses the Indominus Rex hands. These were specialized sets of molds that were created just a previous few years for the Indominus Rex, but you can actually plug them into the arms here. But everything else about it is all new, so you've got the jaw which can open and shut like so. So you have a very nice and satisfying click to that. A very intelligent looking kind of eye there, which is a nice way to see things. You've got some spikes on the back of the head that continue downwards to the torso itself. And overall, this is a really cool looking creature. Having an all black dinosaur is a very cool concept. And while that definitely doesn't maybe really make sense in terms of other real life creatures, this is still a really cool fantasy creature to get, which is why it is so expensive on this list. With that though, we can now move on to our number three pick and move into the top three rarest Lego dinosaurs. Coming in at number three, we have the Ankylosaurus, which only came in one set, set number 75941, Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus, which released in 2020. This is a very unique Lego animal, and I'm kind of surprised they haven't done it since 2020. I guess it's only been like three years, so maybe we'll have another one coming out in the future. But as of right now, this is one of the rarest Lego dinosaurs coming in at $56, which barely beats out the Indoraptor. Now, Pretty much everything you see here, other than the legs, which are the Triceratops legs, are basically 100% new about the creature. You have a specialized new mold for the tail, which actually can swing back and forth. This is mounted on a frictionless Technic pin, so that is a really cool way of doing things. And pretty much everything else, like all that you see with the head here, the dual molding for the gray and the dark tan and the uh, dark orange here, is just all new, which is really, really cool to see. Now. What's very interesting is that they actually incorporate a lot of system into the way this is built. If I were to disassemble this one really quickly, you can actually see that the way that it comes together is a lot more brick built in terms of construction than you would expect, where you can literally see that the way that the legs attach are just on these kind of simple ratchet joints that we saw all the way back in the Knight's Kingdom times, and you have just this very large piece. This is all one piece here that fits on top of it. You have two by three tiles that go alongside the side of the creature itself, and that is how it gets assembled. So it certainly has a very interesting assembly process compared to most dinosaurs. It isn't just one of those that's kind of like a one big block torso, because they wanted to introduce three different colors for the torso itself and not have to triple mold it, you do have the two different pieces there, which is really interesting, and I love to see this system of creating dinosaurs be used for other creatures in the Jurassic World universe. I definitely feel like there are other dinosaurs that they could create with this template for the body. So we'll have to wait and see if they'll do anything like this again, but so far, this has been the Ankylosaurus, and it's time to move into the number two pick. And coming in at number two, we have the original Indominus Rex. This retails for around $56, so basically the same price as the Ankylosaurus. However, the reason why it's number two is that the price used to be a lot higher. I believe it was closer to $70 to $90 until they released a new version of the Indominus Rex in 2020, which was a different color scheme. It was gray and silver rather than white and gray, but that one was a new version of it that you could get five years after the original, which is why the value of this one just went down by a little bit. But before they did that, this was easily one of the rarest, and actually the rarest, standard retail dinosaur that you could get. Now. This was obviously the main villain dinosaur of the first 2015 Jurassic World movie. Despite there being a little bit of a mixed reaction to the franchise as a whole, I think most people can agree the first one was one of the best entries in the franchise itself, and it kind of just went a little downhill from there, which is why this is probably the most iconic character or creature from the dinosaur's lineup of the movies themselves, being a unique dinosaur, a hybrid created for the park itself. Now, when this first debuted, pretty much every single bit of it was brand new. You had the standard template of the T-Rex, and you do use the standard T-Rex legs, but you had a slight modification to the T-Rex body to have these spikes being included on the back of it. That was a really cool thing to actually have these spikes molded in. The tail itself had these spikes as well, and of course, as we mentioned in the Indoraptor review, it introduced these brand new hand elements which actually can grasp a minifigure. So you can get a minifig and kind of place it into the claw here, which is 
is a very fun thing to do with the creature itself. Of course, you have the job being able to open and shut based on multiple different access points of moving, so that is a very cool thing to see in general. And overall, this is one of the most detailed LEGO dinosaurs they have done, even to this date. Despite this coming out, oh my goodness, eight years ago now, which certainly doesn't feel like eight years ago when the first Jurassic World movie came out, this was still basically the pinnacle and the big flagship dinosaur of the Jurassic World lineup. And there is only one more dinosaur on this list for number one that is even rarer than this, although that one, I don't know if I would really count it, because, because that one wasn't quite available at retail. You'll see what I mean, let's move into number one. And coming in at number one, to the surprise of probably nobody who knows that this exists, this is set number 4000031, simply titled Exclusive T-Rex. And exclusive it is, because this is valued at over 4,000 US dollars right now on BrickLink. Personally, I just purchased this a couple of weeks ago and I paid around $3,600 for it, which is easily the single most amount of money that I have spent for any single LEGO item in my collection, and I was only able to buy this thanks to all of your support over on YouTube with YouTube ad revenue for Duck Bricks. So what's the story behind this exclusive T-Rex? Well, you see, back in 2018, to celebrate the release of the second Jurassic World movie, LEGO released this exclusive promotion with specific toy shops, namely in Belgium, but also across Europe, where only 500 of this model were produced. Out of those 500, you had to buy a certain amount of Jurassic World products at a specific store, and not only that, you then were entered into a raffle in which you had a chance to win this animal. This, again, is why this is the rarest LEGO dinosaur ever ever made, and probably the rarest LEGO set, or one of the rarest LEGO sets in existence, just by having this be limited to only 500 copies, which makes this rarer than the Mr. Gold minifigure, which had 5,000. Now, again, this is a real outlier here, because while all of the other dinosaurs on this list obviously appeared in exclusive or specialized sets, while they may have been exclusive to certain sets, those were pretty much all general retail release. This was not, because this you had to enter a lottery to get, which is why the value of this particular creature is just so much higher than everything else on the list. But with that, I think we have about summed up this particular number one pick for rarest LEGO dinosaur. It of course goes to the exclusive T-Rex from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in 2018. One of the rarest and strangest LEGO promotional items ever made, because LEGO doesn't really do exclusive stuff like this a lot, especially for a lottery system. That is very, very rare for LEGO to actually do, so that's what makes this super, super special. And with that, we have summed up our list of the top 10 rarest LEGO dinosaurs ever made. All right, and with that, we have summed up the top 10 rarest LEGO dinosaurs from the raptors to the triceratops, to the flying animals, and of course the T-Rexes. There were so many different animals to consider here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below which of these animals do you own? Do you own the rarest ones? Do you own any of them on this list? And which ones do you want to own? Obviously, the number one pick probably comes at the surprise of no one being astronomically more expensive than almost everything else on this list, and probably one of the most expensive single LEGO items in my entire collection. But besides the number one pick, do let me know down in the comments below were you surprised by any entries on the list? Were you surprised certain items didn't make the list? And of course, do let me know what you thought of the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. And thanks all for tuning in. Bye-bye for now.